What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Apathy back here with another video and it really feels good to be back man. It's been a while. I miss you guys but I'm glad just to be back and today's video we're going to be talking about me being released from TK and my future Black Ops 3 team. Now a lot of you guys know that a tweet I believe two days ago or was it, it was yesterday I think yesterday uh, they tweeted out you know I was released I'm gone and I don't know if they announced it yet but I'm pretty sure they're planning on picking up Gunjar. And, you know, after this event, after finals or worlds, whatever you want to call it, I had a feeling that I was going to get dropped. And the huge reason was because going into Black Ops 3, one, they're pretty much butt buddies with Gunjar still, man. And, like, they're still good friends with Gunjar. You know, they play CSGO all the time. Like, they always talk to each other. So, uh, all that connection, I felt like something was going on there. And then, two... Um, you know, I heard Gunjar is most likely going to be dropped from Envy. So him being dropped from Envy means pretty much TK probably want to pick him up. And then three, we had pretty much three subs in the team. Uh, Nezo, I don't think he wanted, he said he wanted to run, uh, run a sub going into Black Ops 3. So him running AR probably wasn't going to happen. So he needed an AR an, or an anchor. And that's just not me, right? I'm a sub aggressive player. So knowing that, going into the event, you know, after we lost and then finding out about that, I'm like, you know what, they're probably going to pick up Gujar. I confronted them. I told Ash Sharp pretty much. He's like, yeah, I'll talk to the guys. He's like, I'm 95% sure we're going to stay with you. I was like, okay, it's awesome. But a part of me in the back of my head, just like, I felt like it wasn't just, it wasn't going to happen. Like, it just wasn't going to happen. I felt like there was a small chance I was still going to get dropped. And then finally I get the text, you know, Sharp says, yo, as soon as I get that text, I know that it's going down. Like, I'm getting dropped. There's no way he's just going to randomly text me over. It, it, it's just not, nothing important at the moment for him to text me, yo. And not just come up saying like, yo, you want to do a video or something? So I figured, you know, I was getting released from TK. And I have nothing but love for TK. You know, finals didn't go as well as we wanted to. Uh, if we had a little bit more practice, we could have probably gone really far. We had a lot of close maps. It could have gone, if it just went our way, we probably would have got like top six, maybe top four. Uh, I don't know top four, probably at least top six. So either way, uh, good luck to TK. Uh, you know, they're going to be a nice squad. They're pretty much bringing back, I'm pretty sure they'll TK back. So whatever they do, you know, um, just good luck to them, man. They, I love the organization. I've always loved, had love for the players, uh, for Justin, Kostoff, you know, everybody. So good luck to them. And now a lot of you guys know I'm a free agent. Uh, pretty much, well, not not really. So now Black Ops 3 is coming out in nine days. I believe it's nine days. Nine days high. Woo! It's coming out in nine days. And I pretty much am a team of three with Doug and Renato. That's the plan right now. Uh, you know, we kind of, we wanted to bring the old SB back, but I don't think Dito's on um, board right now. So, either way, it's us three, and we're going to be going in the game as a, a core of three. Us three, me, Saints, and Center. Uh, you know, going into this, going into this game, we obviously, we're not really in a rush to pick up a fourth. Because we don't know how players are going to play. We don't know how, um, you know, everyone's going to play and teammates, teams might drop a player. Or something like that. So we're not really rushing it. We do have a, a mind, like a couple players we want. And it's mainly an AR because me and Doug are pretty much the subs. Uh, Saints is a hybrid. I can be in hybrid too, but I'm mainly a sub. And then we want like a main AR, which there's a couple. Who is it? Like Proofy. Uh, maybe in this, another AR from another team. So that's pretty much the plan right now. Uh, when it comes to org, I'm not sure how we're going to do this because I, I don't know if I'm even supposed to be saying this, but there might be a rule in uh, the next league and Activision's league that only then the or can only have one team so therefore we can't really make face black because if that rule does happen then we can't make face black so therefore we kind of have to go either with another org or we, we have something up our sleeve that we might do so yeah guys I mean it feels good uh, to uh, you know be with Doug and Renato again I miss those guys Doug's coming back from retirement you know he he stopped for a while but I have a lot of uh What's it called? Not trust. I have a lot of faith in Doug. Uh, his capability of playing good. I know sometimes he has his moments where he doesn't play too good, but I know he's capable of. I know he has the heart. He has the determination. He has the communication. And he, he's, just, he's a really good teammate. Not when he's bitching, but when he's not bitching, he's a really good teammate. You know, he constantly encourages the team to call out and just keeps everyone on focus, on point, which I really love about him. Which I really love that about him. <clears throat> Excuse me. So either way, guys, that's going to be the plan for Black Ops 3 right now. That is the main plan. It's me, Saint Center, going as a team of three to Black Ops 3. Uh, we might pick up, like I said, we're looking at an AR. Not sure. We're not rushing in, in it yet, but we do have in mind a couple players who we might pick up. And, yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, unfortunately, I was released from TK. It's a, it's sad. 
you know, I really looked forward to playing with them in Black Ops 3. I told them that I wanted to play with them, but I, I kind of figured, you know, well, it just wasn't going to work, you know. With three subs, you know, they needed like a main AR anchor, and I'm just not that player, so, and I know Nuzzle didn't want to do it, Sharp didn't want to do it, so... When things are like that, change is bound to happen, but like I said, I wish nothing but luck, but best luck to them. You know, I wish nothing but the best for them. Uh, I have I have only but love for them. It's it's business in the end. It's what's best for them, obviously. Me staying on the team uh, long term probably wouldn't have been the best because they do need an AR, and I'm just not that player. And, you know, me teaming with Doug again, uh, I feel like a lot of people had, like, kind of miscommunication that, you know, uh, that apparently we had a lot of bad blood between us when it, that really wasn't the case, like... At the start, like, yeah, he was mad for the first couple of days, but he knew I wasn't a huge reason why he was dropped. And he and we talked, you know, we talked it out. You know, I consider him a friend, even outside of gaming. You know, I really like him as a friend. And, you know, we talked after that, after the whole arguing thing. Like, you guys, like, from a uh, other perspective, you don't really see what happens on the on the inside. But, you know, we, we were cool since, like, a week after it happened, you know. He knows it was business, and, like, he knows it wasn't really my fault. And we were just cool. We were just chill about it. We just text each other here and there. And I told him that I'm down a team winner for Black Ops 3, depending on what happens. And since pretty much I got released from TK, it's going to happen. I'm um, teaming with Sensor and Saints for Black Ops 3. And yeah, so it's going to be a lot of potential. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to have a, fun, a ton of fun grinding the game at the start. And let's see what happens after that. And we'll probably talk more And then when things are more you know, stable when we actually have a team or a team name or what's going to happen with our fourth or we, if this team happens, like, whatever the case may be, I may do another video on it. But either way, guys, thank you for watching. This has been your boy, Apathy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, especially like it for me being back and for, I don't know, just, just leave a like. This has been your boy, Apathy, and I'm out. Peace.